I need to use a Google form. It's really, really simple. I use them all over the place. And sometimes they're just easier than trying to create a form in Kajabi and put it on a landing page and send it out. So all you need to do is Google, Google Forms, and you'll see that you can click on any of these. So when you click on a link, it will take you to Google Forms, dun da 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 and it will put it under your Google account. So make sure in the upper right hand corner, if you use various different Google accounts, I do, that you ha are putting the form under the correct account. Otherwise, you could just accidentally like lose it. I've lost mine a number of times. So when you're on the right account, then you can choose one of the pre-done ones, but I'm, I always start with a blank slate because that's so easy to customize. So in the upper left-hand corner, just give your form a name. There we go. Title, name of form, and you can just click enter. Then right here, it's going to fill it in. So you can also just type it in right here. You can add your description here. And then when it comes to the questions, you'll see this is the field for the question. And then on the right-hand side, you can choose what kind of question do you want. When you're typing in the question, Google will often do a predictive uh, suggestion for you. So tell me about you. See how it switched it to paragraph? Google's really smart. So then you they can see that it's long answer text then here you can make it required or not required and then to add a new question you click the plus box so adding that i can put in question two right there i can have it be multiple choice again you always have the drop down where you can put in what you want it to be then clicking it required, making it not required, either one is fine. Here, you can add a title and description, so you can put in a new title. If you have multiple sections on a form, sometimes that is helpful for the user experience. You can add in pictures. Again, this is all on the right hand. Uh, little sidebar that looks almost like social sharing. You can add a video, so you can pick a video. Uh, from YouTube, if you have the URL, you can upload it um, from YouTube right here. So, and it will work with anything except the private videos. I don't think those will display, but unlisted videos from YouTube will display. Then, once you have your form all set, and again, you can change this, so it's really nice. Under responses, you'll see it says accepting responses. Then here, then you can set to get email notifications for new responses. Highly recommend turning that on so that you know when someone has filled out the form. Always helpful. Then you can select the response destination. Also, highly recommend doing this. So I, when you're doing a brand new one, if you've never done this, if that form is new, then you just create a new spreadsheet. So hit create. When you do, Google will make that spreadsheet. Again, it will be in your Google Drive. These forms will be in your Google Drive. And then when people are doing responses, you have everything on a spreadsheet. Like you don't have to do a zap. You don't have to download anything. You just log in and you can see everything on the Google Sheet. Up here in the um, toolbar, you have the color palette, so you can change the colors. There's not a ton of um, customization that you can do here. You could choose one of these themes like that. You can upload your own pictures, so you can modify it a little bit, but it's just, it's not, it's not like Typeform. Typeform is more customizable. Then you can preview your form. You can see what it looks like, just like that. Okay, there we go, very fancy. And if we go back here under the little wheel right here, you have your settings. So you can check to collect the email addresses when people are submitting this. 
you can uncheck the requires sign in because like no one else is going to be coming in from your.com. Uh, you can limit it to one response if you would like. You can edit after submission. And I do check this. I don't set that they can see summary charts and text responses. So click save when you do that. Then when it says send, you can send via email. This is what you probably will like to use is just the link right here. You also have this embed option. So if you were using a landing page, if you were using this in a product, you can embed this. So the nice thing is you can change this all the time, which is fantastic. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how to use Google Forms. They're great. They're free and I, I use them all the time. So please feel free, ask any questions if you have any, but that should fit your need for what you need. Bye.